to properly rig a raft. Kenna here with Roller Cam and our friends at Utah Whitewater Gear, and they are going to show us the safest way to rig a raft today. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is we want to put a boat line, so people call it a perimeter line, and Roller Cam make us a custom length one so that it'll fit any boat. We like to use a strap for that, and the reason why we like to use a strap is that when you put it around, it'll lay flat and tied against the boat. Here we have flip lines, NRF flip lines. There's 14 feet of cord in each one of these to flip an upside down boat, mid-river if you can. Uh, you just pull the strap out, go around the top, and you just lean over. Generally, when I put a frame strap, I want everything pulled tightable to the cockpit. And I usually like to wrap. Yeah, I like to loop it once. We like to belly wrap the frame so it grips it, so it doesn't slide as much. I mean, we have a spare oar holster from SDG. They're out of Oregon. I have a little slack to lower it down to where we like it. One footers are just a little too tight. Once you pull the red knot, you just grab it and go. Four bays in this boat. We're going to have a drop bag in our front bay. It's a DRE heavy duty XD drop bag. Allows you to you do rocket box, you can put chairs in there, you can throw a stove in there, your ammo can. Just making sure that it doesn't hit the floor. So it's a lot easier to add the cut the cargo floor or the beaver tail before you put your cooler or your dry box in so you can have access to the straps. This is a summit. Branded Utah White Water Gear cargo floor. So we have a Utah White Water Gear custom dry box. Um, so this particular dry box, you have an option of putting the top strap above. Or if you grab some one footy straps, you can go right down to the bar. If you're ever rigging to flip, the four foot strap is extra insurance on top. And this seat's awesome because it, it aerates. It's, it's really comfortable and it aerates all the time, so you dry out. This is the Captain Pox. It's just basically a mini dry box. The tabs, one foot roller strap, and you're done. So on the other side, you can do another captain's box or you can do something alternatively. This is a rocket box sling. We're gonna place a rocket box with a stove inside of it. This is a partner steel four burner cook partner stove. This one is a 16 inch wide, made specifically to sit in a 20 mil army ammo can, rocket box. My canyon cooler, this is the 150 navigator. Flips down, catches the frame rails. So this is a jerry can. It's really good because you can freeze it and stick it inside a cooler. And again, you have two options, just like the dry boxes. You can strap it through here with one strap. And then we just like just to double to rig to flip. We like to come over the top just to make sure that the lid doesn't come open if you do happen to flip over. And that's what I like about the roller cam is I can cinch that really good and not have to worry about it. Scepter water jugs, they seal tight, very convenient in camp. They come in a 20 liter and a 10 liter. So here's a couple accessories that make this scepter can really cool. Fill it up with water, stick it down when you need to dispense. 
Just flip that open. There's a deluxe sand stake from DRE. That's for tying off your boats on the bank. Here's a standard repair kit. Got a fabric. Toluene. Clifton's 4844. It's a one-part adhesive. We always carry stay bond, scissors, spare valves, spare pressure relief valve. You got your valve wrench, a roller rasp, an NRS blast pump. Let's to top it off. This is here is a Carlson six-inch barrel pump. Table, nesting table. So we have a roller cam, spider strap, really neat tool, I love this thing. So when I'm in the water, my tail's usually out in the current. I always keep this attached to a strap when we're not rigging. That lessens the likelihood of it going in the drink. Watershed, it's a watershed bag. Jack's plastic one. Cam. This one's really nice and easy. Is that valve? Set that down and then we put another loop strap on top. These loop straps serve as two purposes. Hold down the pad, but it also gives your passenger a really good handhold. So right here we have an NRS bow line bag. And I only use locking D-rings, no open gates, in case something inadvertently locks into there. So here we have a 75 foot throw line bag from NRS, so that they're able to, and that just sits right there, so they're able to hurry undo that and throw a safe line. On the oars, we've got Sawyer NXS, counterweighted. So we're a big fan of the Sawyer Cobra which is a premium oar lock. It's got the longer horn, so your oar has a higher angle before it pops out. A pair of a set of oar tethers uh, made by Phantom out of Oregon. So here we have an NRS E160 fully rigged. The way we like it here at Utah Whitewater Gear, especially with them roller cams. <laughs>